What up, world? Nicholas Coriano here. Late night vlog. I'm going to show you guys how much I made last month and what's my ROI on, in, on my uh, marketing. So I'm going to show you guys my Facebook crisis. This is for me. It's documented for me. My Facebook crisis and Google ad spend. I do a lot of uh, promotion on social media, so I'm not counting that. This is just what I spent because I was spending some money on marketing and I want to see what's my ROI and where can I adjust. So let's start. So April, $462 on Google AdWords. I'm just going to make a little graph here so I know. What do we have there? $462. And I'm going to show you guys how much I um, made too based on what I spent because I want to know. Um, for, for those who don't know, I'm a business plan writer. I also do business formations, social media marketing, a lot of business consulting services for businesses. So um, Facebook, let me see how much I spent here for Facebook, $802.02, $802.02, oh, $802.02, that's Facebook slash Instagram, okay? And then where else did I spend money? On Craigslist. Now, I did this math for us before we got on here, but I got a whole bunch of Craigslist ads at $5 a pop. I spent $1,505. $1,505, $1,500. $5 on Craigslist. Craigslist. All right. I think I spelled that wrong. Sorry. Perfectionist. Craigslist. Okay. So let me just make a quick graph here, and I'm going to show you guys how much I made to oh, when I move that. Okay. So this is how much I spent. Let me see if I can get one more percentages here. Perfect. And I'll spread this out so you can see it because I want to see it. Okay. So I spent 54% of my budget and. I didn't plan this out. This is why I'm making this video. 54% on Craigslist, 17% on AdWords, 29% um, on Facebook and Instagram. And in return for that total amount, so how much is the total here? Uh, equals this one plus this one plus this one equals. So I spent $2,769 on marketing in April and that brought me back a return of drum roll please ch -ch -ch. no we don't want past 30 days we want April 1st through I should do this every month on the vlog so I can document myself um, okay eleven thousand three hundred and forty seven dollars minus the fees is eleven thousand right so call it eleven thousand so spent twenty two thousand seven hundred made eleven thousand call it eleven thousand because they took they took over here on paypal fees three hundred um and thirty five dollars so call it eleven thousand so it took me twenty seven hundred now what i've realized and something i'll share with you guys that i I just learned that the Think Tank Mastermind throwing that past event that I threw, um, that there's a there's intent based and in, we I know this but I need to apply it better. Facebook, this orange thing here that where I spent twenty nine percent or eight hundred and two dollars is um, let me let me start the other way. AdWords and Craigslist are called intent based marketing, right? So I know that if someone's searching business plan writer or business plan prices online that their intent is for a business plan writer I know if someone's searching on Craigslist for the writing services that their intent is to find someone that can write their, their whatever they need right their business plan or their proposal if they're searching on Craigslist or Google AdWords for how to form or uh, company formation their intent is to form a company right whereas on Facebook when I'm pushing ads in people's faces I don't it's not intent based is my point right we're just pushing ads. we don't know if they might want it they might not want it. it's kind of like a billboard on the highway right some people driving by might want it they might not want it but if you're in front of somebody that's already asking for it like on adwords they're, they're typing something in or on crisis they're actually looking for it it's intent based so what i realized i need to i'm going to increase my all my budget because i want to make more money um, but i want to be more strategic here and i'm going to try to offset 
um, some of this Facebook budget. So for next month, what I'd like to do, and let me see if I can put together a little graph. It's, you know, I'll revisit it later and see how it works. Um, what I'd like to do is, is focus more on intent-based marketing, right? And let me see if I can put together a quick projection of what I'd like to do next month. So I, I love Craigslist. I love where I'm at with Craigslist. Um, I definitely want to keep that, but I, I want to I double up on my intent-based marketing, right? Especially, and I really want to match my Craigslist here. So let me see what this, let me redo this here. Oh, my bad. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. My bad. This is fifteen hundred here. So next month, if I'm uh, at thirty-eight hundred, we're gonna see. I don't want to even project this because, you know, that'll give you guys definitely a, um, your projected ROI on your marketing. But projections in, in most section, not, not, they're not bullshit. But that's not the benchmark. The benchmark is how strategic you are, and you know that'll give you your rate of return. So I don't like, I don't like personally, I don't like projecting that out. I can project on my budget. I know I'm going to spend an extra thirty-eight hundred, so I'll account for that. But I'm not going to account for the chickens that didn't hatch. I'm not going to account for money that didn't get in my bank account. I can, I'll go back here and assume, you know, um, that I can at least do that. But who the hell wants to stay at eleven thousand a month, man? We're trying to get to a million a day. Right. So anyway, I, I'd like to I like to definitely um, make this more intent based. Right. I'd like to get this to at least 90 percent intent based. So let me see where I'm at here. I'll make a quick graph and then I'll show you guys a couple more data points um, rather quickly. So here, if I do this, I'm at 80 percent. Right. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm going to outsource it. What do you guys think? If you guys are watching this video, what do you guys think? More intent based? Do I do nine? You know, do I move this budget here or lower this Instagram budget? I don't like to lower things. I just like to put the gasoline on, baby. More phone calls, more leads. We can handle it. We're nowhere near where we want to be, right? Anyway, I hope this was helpful. So that was my ROI. Remember, I, guys, I do a lot of social media marketing and blog articles and organic SEO. Um, but this is for us, as far as what I'm dishing out right now, I just wanted to do this analysis because I really realized I'm at 29%, but it's not intent based. And if, if I just maximize this intent based, a small shift, I might not even have to spend more. If I can just you know move this to 100% intent based, we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to test it out. I put up more um, AdWords. I'm definitely going to move up my AdWords and make this more intent based. And we'll see what happens. And I'll keep you guys updated. And if I don't, put a comment on this video. Be like, yo, man, where's next month's revenue? Show us, man. We want to see what you're doing. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. So that's that's what I made, 11000 right? And so you guys get some more screenshots. It cost me one30 per click here um, on AdWords. These are all $5 a pop. I have them in all the major cities, so I try to focus on going to where the biggest populations are. And then my wife's been helping me, and she's actually been putting them up in order um, just so we can get them all. But, you know, sources are, uh, resources are limited in, in any business, so you want to make sure you're maximizing, and that's where I'm at now. I'm trying to maximize this to, to become more intent-based. So hope this was helpful. If you guys are running ads that are not intent-based, I suggest I'm, I'm going to shift. You guys can do whatever you guys want, but... I'm gonna have them all. I want. I want to be on all of it, right? I want to. I want to make sure that I'm everywhere, but I want to make sure that I'm maximizing at the same time the plan, right? I hope this was helpful. If you guys like it, subscribe to the page, um, comment in the page, ask any questions. I want to use the comment section on YouTube as a forum for entrepreneurs to, you know, share ideas and share their experiences with things. And then, well, just a quick tip, really quick, on um, Facebook ads. This is my ads manager. But just a really super quick tip, um, putting emojis in my ads makes the click ratio higher. So like um, this is a little gem that if you didn't watch the end of this video, you're going to miss. But like right here, if you guys see this, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. But right here, these you'll see that there's emojis in these ads and there's other ads. My past ads, I never put emojis up. I never put emojis on them, but these ads, I put the emoji in the front and they, they're the click ratio is just, it's just better. I'm paying 28 cents for the video here, $1.57, but I'm getting my clicks down to 70 cents. 
I have a lot of clicks here. Here, check it out. 48 cents, 165, 201. It is what it is, right? 46 cents. But I realized with the emojis and a, a longer time span at a dollar a day, I'm getting the clicks under a dollar, at least under two bucks. Um, they just they just click more. They convert better as far as on the click ratio. So that's just a little trick I literally just learned last week. Um, so I hope this is helpful, guys. Like I said, subscribe if you like it. If not, dislike the video and send me a message why you dislike me, man. I'm just trying to make friends out here. Talk to you guys later, man. Thanks for watching.